Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So this is part two of um, our ephemera book creation. And today I'm just going to finish up putting in some more pockets and then I'm going to bind this. Um, so there were a couple things that I wanted to mention. Um, as you can see, I've taken off the fake nails. <laughs> Me and my daughter had a lot of fun playing around with that, but um, yeah, I was having a really hard time trying to work <laughs> with those, so yeah. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is better. But, um, so there are just a couple of things that I wanted to talk about today. And um, the first thing that I wanted to do um, is show you guys what I have done in here. So um, as you can see, I took some of the pages out of the original book and I just made some pockets and tuck spots out of those. So this is a pocket back here and we got like little tuck spots here and there. And some of them I've just glued on and uh, most of them I've sewn on. So I just went ahead and created as many pockets as I could. And um, now I want to go in and I'm actually going to add some clear pockets into um, several of the pages. I, I kind of want every page to have some pockets, but I can always go back in once I've found it and add more pockets. So I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what I'm going to use for that and let you guys watch me put some pockets in here and then we will start binding. Um, I'm not actually going to teach you how to bind in this video because there are so many videos out there that um, we'll show you how to bind. I actually have a few in my um, how to how to's and tips I think playlist and um, there's so there's a couple in there. Um, you can find tons of probably better ones um, on other channels. Um, I found a lot of um, a lot of binding tutorials on Pinterest where they have like step by step in pictures and like blogs and stuff. So um, you just kind of look around and see if you don't know how to bind. Um, just look around on Pinterest and YouTube for some binding videos. I'm going to do a, a binding technique called the pamphlet stitch today. It's just like your basic binding technique. I consider doing the no sew binding technique where I literally just wrap threads around the pages and tie them like I had um, on my last journal. But um, like I, I mentioned then, when I was doing a flip through of my last journal, I was just really struggling with keeping the pages all together. And I really don't want to have to deal with that with an ephemera book because I'm going to be opening and closing this journal a lot over time and I want it to last. So I'm going to bind it um, with the pamphlet stitch. And I will show you that, but I'm not going to talk you through that. So yeah, if, if in the future you want me to make a binding video on the pamphlet stitch or something else, then I, I'm, I'm cool with that. We can do that. But um, I'm just not going to do that today because this video is going to be long enough as it is. And the last video was incredibly long, so we're just going to cut to the chase today. So, okay, let me show you what I have. The first thing I have are these note cards, which I was thinking would be cool to, like, label what like put it on the edge of a page and like label what type of ephemera it is. So if it's like digital linens or something, then I'll be able to flip right to that. Um, and then I also wanted to show you some other options. So one option for clear pockets would be like this. Um, this is a photo album and I could just take this apart and cut this out and then this could be my pocket and you can take this paper out and you know put your ephemera in the pocket that's already made so that is one option I'm not going to do that today because I have other things to use and I don't want to take that apart just yet so the other option would be the CD case option so you could so you could put your ephemera in here like this and be able to see through it and you don't actually have to make the pocket and it's double sided which is pretty cool so um, so yeah we may do a couple of these double sided pockets and like washi tape them in 
but obviously I want some lasting pockets that aren't going to eventually come up. You know, washi tape gets less sticky over time, so I don't want anything to fall out. Um, so yeah, that, we'll probably do a couple of these, but I'm not going to go crazy with these either. But that is an option if you don't want to go out and buy something like this. So I have two different things here. One of them is a packet of acetate, and this is literally just the plastic that comes on the front of, um, looks like what they make the photo albums out of, and they also make the CD cases out of them. And I have a little bit left in here that I can use, but what I was thinking is that I could use this instead. This I ended up getting at Goodwill, and I think I got it for like $3, but you can probably find this relatively cheap. This looks like an old label, so I, I can't imagine that they are selling this for very much nowadays because nobody uses the projector anymore, but this is like those transparency things that they used to put on a projector and write when you were in school or whatever. So um, there's tons of those in here, and they're exactly the same thing. They're just an acetate, and um, we can just cut that part off and make these into pockets. Since I have more of this, I'm going to use this today to make my pockets out of mainly. Um, but like I said, we will use a couple of these, and I'm going to use some note cards as well. You could, if you didn't care about having clear pockets, just make your pockets out of note cards or scrap paper or whatever you got. I did go in and use up my scraps in here, some of them. So this is a pocket here that I've made out of um, one of the scraps from one of the pages in here, one of the full size pages. So yeah, I mean, just use whatever you have. So yeah. With that being said, I'm going to just go in and start um, sticking stuff down. And I will say real quick that I'm going to be using tacky glue, and then I'm also going to be using double-sided tape, and I'm going to use this for the clear pockets. That way um, you don't have like a glob of glue on the edge of the pocket. If you use double-sided tape, you don't see um, where, you've, where you've stuck it down to the page. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get started.
Okay guys, so I'm going to um, stop there because at this point I can actually just add in um, pockets when I need them and um, I just want to go ahead and get started on the binding part so that you guys can see what happens after we bind it and how it looks. Um, I did finish this first signature all the way through so I've got pockets pretty much on every single page in the first signature and um, I'm really liking the way this is turning out so um, I will go ahead and, and finish after um, after we bind and everything but it's not necessary to do that prior to binding so um, so we'll just go ahead and, and do that now so uh, so yeah um, like I said before I'm not going to talk you through it this is the pamphlet stitch I have a template here that I'm going to use to bind it and then I will show you guys what it looks like when it's done. So just as a side note, I'm actually folding the paper so that it's really easy for me to center it in the, the middle of the signature. I did the same thing for the edges of the spine so that I could get my holes put in the spine exactly where I wanted them. You know, like once you put it in the middle of the signature, you don't necessarily know where exactly to put it. I typically just fold it in half so that I can make sure that I'm getting the holes where I need them to go. Just a little a little tip.
Okay guys, so it is incredibly difficult to do this with a curved needle, but um, I managed to get it done. And um, so one of the last things I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and just glue a couple of the pages together to make them um, a pocket. Either um, one like this that's a pocket from the side or from the top. And I'm just gonna do that to a couple of random pages. Um, as I was binding, I realized that a couple of these pages, like this one here, could easily be a pocket that I can put something in later. So I'm just gonna glue a couple of these together and um, that will serve as a pocket in the, the book as well. Okay, so um, at this point, I'm just going to finish up a couple more pockets in the journal, and then I will share with you the finished ephemera book. Thanks for watching. Bye.